Nose Plus is as old as Notability and several years ago it had a lot of amazing features that made Notability and Good Notes look like jokes. Back in 2017, the app was ahead of its time. It was only second to Zoom Notes and Zoom Notes is very, very complicated. Seven years later, using the app feels like stepping back in time because not much has changed about this app since then. At first glance, I found that quite refreshing. Who's this app for in 2024? That's what we're going to be finding out in this review series. Fantastic human. Hello, it's Ropsy with Paperless X. Nosplus X is a handwriting note taking app that costs $12.99 for a one time purchase. And it is available only for your iPad and iPhone. For a handwriting note taking app, it probably makes sense, but when I was a student, I really needed to view my, my notes on a laptop. So, a Mac OS version or desktop version is a must have in 2024. Incredible is the free version of Nose Plus, and that one has an Android version as well. I love the way the app organizes our notebooks in files. It just builds trust, doesn't it? Where you know the developer is not trying to get your documents on their server to do God knows what. The app supports a lot of page sizes, whether you use the A, B, and I didn't even know there was a C system, but the app's got you covered. You can even create a custom page size which is slightly smaller than what you get in GoodNotes. I love the page color options. These are just beautiful. I don't think I've ever said that about any page options in any app. Maybe I have. Sometimes you don't need custom colors if you already have functional ones provided for you. The productivity page templates are not great though. They feel a bit amateurish. The line spacing is too wide for my liking, so that's the first thing that I went and changed as soon as I opened this notebook. The precision for your line spacing option in Notes Plus X is simply fantastic, but I think I might have made them too narrow. I love that we have this, but it would probably be better if it was more accessible and if we had access to this when we're first creating our notebooks. You can import digital notebooks into the app, but it's a bit of a strange experience if you're used to other handwriting note-taking apps. Most apps will typically save custom page templates or let you import them, but Notes Plus X has its own approach to this. It works, it's original, but you might need to unlearn a few things to use it. The app also has page covers that you get from within the app. Again, it makes more sense to have this when you're creating a new notebook. The app has a clean user interface with a top toolbar that is anchored at the top. You know, I like that one. It doesn't have too much going on. It's not too little either. I love that after all these years, it still feels familiar. Nothing has changed in this app and, and I'm finding that quite refreshing. For an even more minimalist look, you can have a floating toolbar that you can move to different parts of the screen. It can expand and collapse as you need. For someone who hates floating toolbars, I like that I can chuck this to a corner and use it from there. Simply amazing. Which toolbar do you prefer? The one in the corner? floating on the side or anchored on the side. So far, this is the most refreshing app I have tried this year, no doubt. Normally I would be using our digital notebooks for this review, but unfortunately Notes Plus X does not support hyperlinks. But more about that when we get to that, probably in part two or part three of this review. For now, 
let's look at the pens in the app. The app has a nameless pen which they have called pen without an effect. But when I used it, it really just feels like a ballpoint pen, which made me curious to see how the ballpoint pen would look in the app. Turns out, it's more of a gel pen than a ballpoint pen, so there's a bit of a misnomer there. So let's hope that the developers can switch those names a little bit just to make things a lot easier. Most apps don't get the fountain pen wrong. It's hard to miss with its tapered end and varying pen strokes. Obviously, my favorite. You guys know I love the fountain pen. You also get a calligraphy pen. And even a brush pen. We've seen finer brush pens though. What I love about the pens in Notes Plus X is that they are customizable because of what the developers call viscosity. Every pen in the app has it, so it makes it difficult to define exactly what it's doing. For one pen, you might want more of it, yet for another pen type, less. The pen thickness ranges from 0 0.5 to 30. That is the widest thickness range we have seen in a handwriting note taking app, and it's not even functional at 30, even 15. The app also doesn't say if these are pixels, points, or millimeters. Even three is a stretch. Zooming out didn't help either, so these pen thicknesses will probably don't need that wider range for them. Let me know if you use really thick pens in your notes. The only reason you might want pens that are that thick in Notes Plus X is so you can use the fill color feature for your pens. It works for every pen type in the app and it can be any color you want. Nope, 15 is still too thick. Your pen can be any color you want using any code you're comfortable with. The app even gives you an opacity option for your colors which we're always excited to see because it's rare to find. Handwriting experience in Notes Plus X is great. The pen tool options give you the ability to create amazing pens that ultimately feel great when writing. However, the app has a tendency of erasing some letters when you write. It's probably something to do with the scribbling feature we'll cover later in this review. That can be a little bit annoying, and it also tends to change your zoom when you rest your palm to write sometimes. Let's hope the developers can fix that. Minor annoyances, but um, annoyances nonetheless. I went straight to try the highlighter tool at 100% opacity to see if it would dim the notes. It doesn't. In fact, this is quite an impressive highlighter because it doesn't layer over your notes. But then I thought to decrease the opacity, and now I could see the layers. I was now less impressed. So, it is layering, it's just not visible at 100%, which makes sense actually. Why would you see layers in 100% opacity? You can highlight freely, or use the straight highlighter. The pixel eraser is not very smooth. And your eraser in Notes Plus X is not selective. You don't get a stroke eraser, which is the one that I prefer because it is faster. It does require less effort to use. Not much has been done for the eraser in years, but I find myself happy that I can just erase. This app is so simple, you don't expect much from it. And when it delivers, you're just grateful to have that. It's a strange feeling. I like that it automatically goes back to the pen tool when you stop erasing. Not any tool, specifically the pen, which makes sense because, I mean, chances are you are erasing something to write something. Rarely have I ever needed to erase something and then use the shapes tool or something like that. Nos Plus X has a favorites toolbar for your pens and a different one for your highlighter.
I like that they're separate and intuitive. You can put them anywhere on the screen. Resize them or even change their orientation to put them on the side. The zoom tool in Notes Plus X has a similar setup to what you get in Good Notes, but right out of the box, its auto advanced feature works without needing any extra work on your part. It even supports right to left auto advance, but it takes some getting used to. In fact, I'm still not used to it. But then again, I don't really use right to left writing anyway. So that could be the reason. I like that our pen tools, our writing tools are readily available on the zoom toolbar. And you even have redo and undo buttons. Where most apps have a single margin for your zoom tool, Notes Plus X has two. They're ridiculously simple to adjust. Zooming directly on the page goes all the way up to 700. Doesn't look or feel that zoomed in. At least the app displays the zoom percentage on the screen and we love that. Zooming in on the ink makes it look like it's rust ink for a split second, but um, didn't test that at this point because I don't think it's relevant at all. So far, going through Notes Plus X has been a breath of fresh air. The app doesn't have too much going on and it is perfect for anyone who wants to just take notes without having to deal with overwhelming features that you don't need. So far, I haven't found anything missing in any of the features, anything that I think you would actually really need and can't do without any handwriting note taking app. Notes Plus feels more like Apple Notes. So if you wanted some flexibility in your page templates, Notes Plus X could just be the app you're looking for. But we still haven't looked at all the items that you can add as well as other features to see just how simple it is and what you have to give up if you were to use this app. So hang in there before you make a decision. Thank you, Fantastic Human, for watching. See you in part two of this review.